Hello my darlings and welcome. Today I'm going to work some love magic and show you how to make a love potion to draw romance into your life. Let's do some magical crafting. You can follow along with this video or if you want to download the recipe for this love potion you can do so at the Patreon link below the video. My patrons can download all of the recipes and Book of Shadows pages provided there as PDFs. I'll be adding new downloads as I do more projects on this channel. I've gathered all of my ingredients and I'll be mixing the items together that I want to blend into my carrier oil. I'm starting with an apple. I've cut it in half and extracted the seeds from my potion. Apple will draw a lover and romantic experiences to you. It increases attraction, and the association between apples and love is illustrated time and again throughout history in myth, folklore, and even art. The apple is attributed to Venus, and she's often shown holding an apple in paintings. It also corresponds to the goddess Aphrodite and Freya. I'll use the apple seeds in my potion and eat the rest of the apple later. Also, into my mixture goes cinnamon. Cinnamon is notorious for heating up cold romances and igniting passion. I'm making sure to dilute this heavily with olive oil because this potion may touch my skin. An undiluted cinnamon should not be applied to the skin. It's a dermal toxin and it can be extremely irritating. I'm also including saffron as it's said to enhance sexual prowess and is considered to be an aphrodisiac as well. You might want to be a bit careful when using saffron. Historically, it's been used to dye fabrics and using too much can stain your clothing and skin. After they blend with the oil, I'm going to strain the saffron threads out of my mixture, so I used three pinches. Next, I include pure vanilla extract. Belonging to the water element and Venus and Aphrodite, vanilla is a perfect ingredient for love and lust magic. The carrier oil I've chosen for this potion is olive oil. The olive is sacred to Athena and to the city of Athens, and it's generally used in potions for success or protection. I did not have avocado oil, but if I did, I would have used that instead. Avocado oil is perfect for creating love potions. Or sweet almond oil is another option. Sweet almond oil reminds me of clear quartz. It amplifies, embodies, and synergizes the energy of other ingredients. I mixed the ingredients and then allowed the mixture to steep. Once the mixture has steeped, it's time to strain the large solids out of the oil. You can use a strainer or a coffee filter for this. A strainer will work more quickly. Using the coffee filter took about an hour for the mixture to completely drip through. While the filtering was happening, I continued to add ingredients in the beautiful cut glass bottle I chose for the potion bottle. First, I included three sticks of cinnamon to heat up a cold romantic situation. Combined with apple, cinnamon can encourage a reluctant lover to turn a cerebral relationship into a physical one and it's thought to speed up the arrival of a lover. Seven dried rosebuds went into the bottle next to draw good luck in matters of the heart. Red roses are a symbol of love, romance, and sexual attraction, followed by some raw sugar to sweeten the pot and attract what you desire. Visualize the love you'd like to attract as you combine your ingredients. This potion is specifically meant to be used in workings related to love and lust, and to that end, I've included crystals that correspond to those things. Moonstone is said to help a person become more passionate. Known as the Romance Stone, rose quartz can be used to attract love. No other crystal or stone is considered equal to rose quartz in helping one dissolve painful memories related to love. Clear quartz magnifies the effects of the other crystals around it. Now it's time to create the complete potion. I added a few more apple seeds for good measure and some rose essential oil to mask the telltale scent of the olive oil.
Then I poured the oil mixture into the bottle. To seal the bottle, I melted a beeswax candle onto the cork and placed it inside, then melted more beeswax around the outside of the opening. As a decoration, I added a pink ribbon and a heart-shaped charm around the neck of the bottle. And my love potion is complete. Let me know in the comments if you create a similar potion and what kind of results you experience.